founded by the Phoenicians, an important Roman colony and Muslim capital of Sidonia. I mean between the countryside and the mountains of Cadiz. I mean a magnificent old town with one of the most important historical heritages in the entire province of Cadiz. This is the famous balcony of the Bay of Cadiz, a destination between the sea and the mountains that welcomes the tourists with arms wide open. My name is Luis and today I want to show you what to do and what to see in Medina Sidonia in one day. The walls of Medina can give us an idea of how important this town was in the past. From the remains of the medieval walls, today I'll show you the three arches that still stand and that you must see here in Medina Sidonia. This arch is located in the eastern part of the walled perimeter and it was recently restored. Of all the arches in Medina, this is the simplest one. When you cross this door, you will access to some of the most beautiful cobbled and narrow streets in town, such as Tintoreros, Altamirano and Cuna Street, which will take you to the church of Santa Maria la Coronada. So if you're ready, let's go, let's go! Which way? This way, let's go! Probably you're already thinking, oh, there's no one in this town. It's a ghost town or what? No, not at all. But the thing is that I had this brilliant idea of coming here to record at 3.30 in the afternoon. And of course, everybody's home having their beautiful siesta. And it's so hot right now. As I've started this video through Medina Sidonia, going through the arches and the walled area, I advise you to continue the visit going through the Arch of Bethlehem, Arco de Belén, in Spanish. And why? To go to the Church of Santa Maria la Mayor, La Coronada, this church right behind me. This church is located at the highest square in town. The church is from the early 17th century, built in Gothic style, and it was built on top of an old mosque. It's really, really beautiful. Let's go. Let's continue with the visit. Vamonos, by the way, vamonos means let's go. Vamonos. As I've mentioned before, by the church we have another arch, another important thing to see here in Medina Sidonia. And this one is the Arco de Belén. Arco means arch. Belén, I can translate it into Bethlehem. So this is the Bethlehem arch. And you may think, well, Louis, it's just another stone arch. But I have to tell you that it's more than that. This beautiful arch dates back from the Islamic period. And from this side, the views are outstanding. Look at this. The good thing about starting our tour at the highest point in town is that once you're up, you can only go down. Oh, this was a rhyme. Oh my God. <laughs> well, we are going now downtown. We're going to walk a little bit down the hill to reach the town center, to explore a little bit the town center. Later on, we are coming back uphill, but because I have a nice surprise prepared for all of you, but that will be later in the evening. I've walked a little bit down the hill and this is another place that is a must see here in Medina Sidonia. You cannot come to this town and not be at this square. This is Plaza de España. Plaza means square, España means Spain. So this is the Spanish square. Right there at that end of the square, that's the town hall of Medina Sidonia. This square, it's the people's square. This is a very, very lively place filled with bars and restaurants. 
restaurants and shops. Right now, it is really quiet because remember, I told you, I'm the only one in town. Right now, it's siesta time. Everybody's home, everybody's chilling, everybody's relaxed while I'm recording this video for you, for you to see the secrets of Medina Sidonia. Well, let's wait till the evening, let's wait till the afternoon. Meanwhile, let's go for a stroll, let's go. And with this heat, I'm very tempted to make a short stop at the bar and have a nice cold cerveza, a nice cold beer. If there's something I really love about these Andalusian towns, it is that strolling through the city center is always a real pleasure. Narrow streets, white alleyways, and the smell of typical sweets are waiting for you here in the streets of Medina Sidonia, especially at the Calle San Juan. By the way, Calle means street. So at San Juan Street, which is one of the main streets in town, there you will find a lot of taverns, pastry shops and shops where you can spend your money. And remember, we're no longer with the pesetas. Now it's the euro. So let's stroll, let's just let it go. Let's just enjoy the breeze. It's a beautiful breeze right now. Walking down from Calle San Juan to Calle Moritos, you're going to reach this church. And this is Santiago Church, the Church of St. James. And this is also one of the oldest temples in town. It dates back from the beginning of the 16th century. This Mudejar style church stands out for its beautiful coffered ceiling and a colorful altarpiece full of religious images. Let's go inside. Let's have a look. The doors are open, so why not? Let's go! Come on, let's go! Oh, sorry, I scared you. Are you coming or not? Let's go. It was really nice, really interesting, and the best, it was for free. So if you are in Medina Sidonia, you have no excuse but to visit the St. James Church or La Iglesia de Santiago. Let's go, vámonos! I'm saving the best for last. Out of the three arches that we have here in Medina Sidonia, for me and for most of the people, this is the most beautiful one. It's an horseshoe arch dating back from the 10th century, the Muslim period. And this arch is attached to a very well-preserved part of the wall. This is the best place where you can take a stunning picture for Instagram, Facebook, and just to make your friends really, really jealous. <laughs> Let's go. I've been walking around Medina Sidonia for about a couple of hours now, and it's still very hot, but I've managed to see some of the most beautiful sights and beautiful places in town. The thing is that I still have two places that I wanna show to you. One is the castle at the highest point in town from where the views are outstanding. And another place that I wanna show you, another place that I wanna take you to is the archeological museum. The thing is that they don't open until six o'clock. I still have like an hour. So I'm gonna go back to my hotel like this. I can actually show you my favorite place where you should stay if you come here to Medina Sidonia. So let's have a rest, let's chill, and then we continue with the sightseeing. Let's go. Maybe a cold beer would be nice now. Hmm, let's see. This is a small team that manages some incredible apartments so that we have an unforgettable stay. The goal is that we feel like home. The name La Vista of Medina comes from the spectacular views that can be enjoyed from the terraces and the garden. The pool is also a very important point on hot summer days. All the seven suites have been individually designed and every detail has been taken care of to make the accommodation as comfortable as possible.
it's six o'clock. I just had my siesta. Actually, that's my advice to all of you. If you are in Medina during the heat hours, just relax and chill, go for a drink, go to the pool or have a siesta. And then you'll be ready to explore the whole city. And here I am, totally ready to keep exploring Medina Sidonia. And since it's already past six, we can already go to the archaeological museum. And I'm sure you're gonna love it. So let's go! And by the way, if you are coming and planning to stay in Medina for a night or two or three or four, I do recommend La Vista, La Vista of Medina, because the rooms are amazing, the garden is outstanding, and later on I'll show you more. I have a little surprise for you. While I'm walking towards the museum, I want to tell you that Medina Sidonia was the place of different ancient settlements, such as the Phoenicians, the Romans, the Byzantines, the Visigoths and the Muslims. And that's why, after visiting the most important places to see here in Medina Sidonia, I do recommend that you take a little bit of time to visit the important museum, the archaeological museum. One of the most amazing things that you will find at this museum is that the underground becomes alive. In this museum I'm gonna show you that in the underground, right underneath us, we have the old sewers of the Roman city. Are you ready for it? Let's go! Vamonos! I'm walking in tunnels built 2,000 years ago. I'm, I'm actually walking in the old Roman sewers. <laughs> it doesn't smell bad, don't worry. It's been 2,000 years, so don't worry. The thing is that this is a very tight place. If I, I can, look, look at this, I cannot even stretch my arms sideways, but it's definitely an experience. And this is a unique thing because, I mean, where can you visit a 2,000 year old Roman sewer? Where? So you must come here and have this experience. It's awesome! Well, this was really something, really amazing. But it's not over yet, because they're gonna take us now to the old ancient Roman road from the first century. The ticket to go into the archeological museum costs three euros 50. But if you're planning to visit the castle, you can always ask for the combined ticket and it will be cheaper. So have that in mind. <laughs> Little tricks make the difference, my friends. Well, and now there's still one more thing to show you before the big finale, before the big surprise. I'm by the city wall, I am by the Bethlehem Arch, and we're gonna climb up to the castle, to the highest point in town, where we are going to have this outstanding view. So wait for it, let's go. And I'm here, I'm finally here at the top of the hill. We are over 300 meters over the sea level and the views from here are outstanding. Definitely the best views in town. I am now in one of the most important historical buildings or places to see here in Medina Sidonia. Actually here we'll find three different fortifications, Arab, Roman and medieval. And as I said, the views are stunning. From here you can see the bay, you can see the white houses of Medina Sidonia and you can even see the mountains. With no doubt, this is an imposing place and the sunset from here is super romantic. Love is in the air. Oh, out of tune.
before we go for a beer before i take you to my absolutely favorite place here in medina sidonia i want to tell you something because if there's one amazing thing about medina sidonia is its location the location of this place which is half an hour from everywhere i mean it's half an hour away from some of the most beautiful and important and historical places in the province of cadiz if you have more time i would definitely recommend you to visit Arcos de la Frontera, 30 minutes away, or Bejer de la Frontera, also 30 minutes away. Another good option if you want to relax and lay on the beach, you can actually go within 30 minutes to the beautiful beach of La La Rosa, situated in Chiclana. Or another one, which is my favorite beach in the province, you can go to Palmar only 30 minutes away. Finally, for those who love hiking, for those who love the mountains, you have the Alcornocales Natural Park, which is a green oasis of forest, rivers, and mountains within half an hour by car. There's a lot of options if you're starting from here, from Medina Sidonia. Well, now it's time to go for a drink. I wanna show you something special, so come with me, let's go. Well, everybody, and here I am. This is the surprise I've been telling you about, something that I want you to see. Right behind me, I have the best place to go for a drink, the best place to go for a meal, and the best place to enjoy the best view over Medina Sidonia. The place is called La Vista de Medina, and it's located by the main church. So I'm gonna go inside, I wanna show you this place, and I'm gonna have a cold beer because I deserve it. Don't you think? Let's go! Vamonos! Here I am inside La Vista and I'm gonna ask now for my really cold beer because I'm here for different reasons. I'm here not only for the beer but for the beautiful views at sunset and also to get something to eat. But first of all, I want to show you the owner, Christy. She's a good friend of mine. I've known her for a couple of years now. Every time I'm in Medina Sidonia, I stay here with her and I want to show you this place. I want to show you how beautiful the details, the view is simply amazing. And, oh, I can see Christy already. Christy, hello, say hello. How are you? How are you? I'm talking about you and I'm talking that this is uh, for sure the place with the best view in, in town, isn't it? And I always come here for the beer, for the cold beer, for the view and to see you. Yeah, clap. Right? Of course, of course. So let's have the beer, let's get something to eat and let's enjoy the view. Let's go. Well, my friends, uh, I'm here at La Vista. I've shown you this place, which is an amazing place with the best view over town, with the best sunset in the province of Cadiz. Now I'm going to enjoy my beer. I'm gonna, well, it's almost finished. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask for another one. And I'm gonna enjoy my meal and enjoy the view. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to activate the notification bell and leave a comment. Have you been to Spain? Have you been to the province of Cadiz? Have you been to Medina? I will see you next time. I will see you in the next video, in another place, in another city, in another town. So see you later. Bye bye.